Today, I've made myself a budget bike wash kit that did not break the bank. In fact, I've saved myself a lot of money going this route, and here's what it's all about. Now there's nothing specific about these that are bicycle related. The grit and the grime and the dust and the dirt that we get out on the road is very generic. That's why we can get away with using generic products like this to clean our bikes. Rightio, now into the details of every product that I have here. I'll put links below to every one of these, but let's start off straight away with the wash. Now I've selected the heavy duty truck and car wash, just the wash, not the wax either. We don't want any wax gumming building up on the frame as we wash it. So just the wash, two liters, that should last a very long time. Depending on the ratio of mixture, that should be good to go. That's the wash component I've selected. That comes in at $8.22 Australian. Now to get the wash and a few other things on the bike, we will need spray bottles. So, I've got myself a three pack of spray bottles, one liter spray bottles, they come in at $5. You probably only need one, but N plus one or N plus two with cycling, we all know what that's about. So that's what the concentrate and a few of the degreases will go into once we get to those. Next up, we'll need something to put these in to take them out to our washing area and also to hold water. That's a bucket, 96 cents Australian. Easy done, and it's blue. My favorite color. Okay, they're good to go. Every bike wash kit needs a jumbo sponge, so I've picked up a jumbo sponge coming in at $1.05 Australian. That goes there. Next up, we have a washcloth kit. Now this is a four pack, which was quite convenient, of different textures from smooth down to very fluffy on those one. Uh, Multi-use, I guess, um, but I, the one I'm after is this one here, really fluffy. That'll be the finished polishing rag once we're done cleaning the bike and everything's nice and or getting a little drier with that. So there are rag kit, uh, $3.50 for all four of those. Next up is the degreaser, and I've gone with the Diggers Wax and Grease Remover, $10.38, a quarter of the price of some other bike-specific degreasers that are out there with exactly the same contents. Now for this, I'll be using it to clean the jockey wheels, chain rings, and rear cassette. Cleaning a chain, your mileage may vary if you're gonna clean the chain on the bike or off the bike. For me, I take the chain off most of the time, put it in an ultrasonic cleaner, I will link below to my video on that, which this degreaser can be used for as well. But for today, it's gonna to be jockey wheels, rear cassette, and chain rings for this, using the Diggers Wax and Grease Remover. I'll, again, links below to this specific product. Oh, that's also biodegradable too, according to the spec sheet, so happy days. And I can't forget the brushes, and I've gone all out for the brushes, having four different types, which are all here. First up, we need a soft bristle scrubbing brush. Dustpan brush coming in at $2. We don't need that at all, so just a soft bristle brush. That'll get into most areas, and it's not too harsh on your frame. So $2 for that, or $1 if you split it, and we don't need that part, so quite cheap for that. Soft bristle brush. Onto this little gem here. It's a little scrubber with a dispenser compartment in here, you can put degreaser in here or just standard wash. Uh, a little bit stiffer bristles, so good for chain rings, jockey wheels, chains, I guess, and cassettes. That goes in the pack for $1.50. Next up, we've seen these brushes in all the commercial bike wash kits. Stiff bristle brush, this is a grout brush, $1.50, good for cassettes. And finally, if you are cleaning your chain on your bike, you probably wanna brush on the degreaser with a lighter brush just to get it into all the little areas that you can. So a paintbrush coming in at 79 cents. So what we have here is under $35 Australian, which converts over to just under $24 US. We are under budget for the $25 budget bike wash kit. Happy days with that. With the money we've saved means we've got more money to spend. So let's overextend ourselves into this bonus round. And the first thing is the isopropyl rubbing alcohol for disc brakes. If you're gonna be cleaning your disc brakes to remove that squeaking, this is what you're after. But if you don't wanna contaminate your brakes during cleaning, there are cheap shower caps. We saw this hack on GC the other day. People have been using this hack for years. Put these around your disc brakes and they're unlikely to get contaminated when you're washing your bike with all this stuff here. So shower caps, 
or for yourself if you get a bit messy out there cleaning your bike. And finally, for those who like to keep clean, we have the gloves. These ones are disposable blue nitrile gloves, not latex. So if you get any of these chemicals on there, they shouldn't split apart. They come in at $2.86 quite cheap on that. Okay, so here we are. There's our extended kit. There's our standard kit. All up, we come in at under $30 US. Super impressive. So there we are. Commercial grade stuff. You've got to go do the legwork yourself to get these products. They don't come in all in one kit, but if you do the legwork, you're going to save yourself a lot of money. Links below to all these products. For me, for now, it's time to go and wash some bikes.